All right, good morning, folks. Uh, we are out at the creek. It's uh, me and Prospector Matt. Prospector Matt. So, yeah, it's been raining, but that's not bad. Um, we've hit some pretty cool bedrock and stuff, but I can't see shit because, as you can see, it's all dirty ass water. Uh, Matt and I have kind of capitalized on this corner this morning. I can't really tell you how good we've done yet because we're just kind of taking it slow and doing a pan filling it up spitting it back out so we're finding flex here and there but you know mostly fly poop so it is what it is we may travel downstream we may not it's just uh pretty here i am gonna have matt try that little area right there as i was explaining to him and you will see from people like dan hurd and all of them on youtube all the great prospectors uh, they'll tell you that you need to look for collection spots like this and this and this and right up in there um, you're not really digging in the bank what you're doing is you're getting that you're clearing out that little mound of material so as it rains or the water comes up a little high uh, the water's washing that material down and you can see here that we've got evidence of see the rounded rocks that are up back in here along that layer that gravel layer so at one point, the water was way up high and has settled some of that uh, material up in here th over time. But as the water washes down the sides of the, of the bank right here, the loose material falls into the creek, heavy material collects because, you know, the water's it's seeping down. It's not strong enough to push it in. So as I was explaining to Matt, you know, these are really good spots that you need to check. Just clear them out. It normally takes a couple minutes to do. No big deal, but you do that. Um, I have found really small nuggets and some pretty good pickers um, doing all of that. And it's real easy. So, you know, it's not backbreaking work where I'm having to bust into gravel bars like this and dig, who knows, three or four feet just before I even hit anything uh, magical. So, later, y'all. I will check back in soon. Bye. The water's coming down a bit, which is good for us because at least we can see where the hell we're walking. Um, Prospector Matt, Prospector Matt, he uh, came over here. I remember what I was saying in my last video, right over in there. He tried. He got some black sand, but a whole lot of nada. But then he hit this area right in here, and he got one nice little speck, but a lot of clay. Hey, how'd you do on the black sand? Not so bad, or? Uh, not so much in here. I'm sorry, not so much over there. There's a little bit more on this one. On that one? All right, so what we've definitely proved is what I was saying before. You know, those collection points are picking up the heavies because we don't have any water that's strong enough to uh, come through and do anything. Now, you know, I hit that bank pretty religiously. There are a couple examples I want to show everyone. Um, especially during flood time. Well, hey, Adam, where do we go? Uh, when we've got floodwaters that we're dealing with well i want you to see i don't know if you've any of you've seen my balloon test video but if i were to send a balloon down through here it would actually drop out back in here and i can see that because you notice that the water starts getting real calm back in here which is where i've been digging but it was calm before i started digging but then it, it picks up speed again as it hits here so i know that this is a good drop off point another good example is typically when you're looking upstream you're gonna see, you know, this collection of rocks and all kinds of junk that are all up in here. And you say, well, Adam, how can there be any real good spot to mine over in here? Well, what you're looking for is you're looking for these areas that are real calm. See them right here? As gold comes down through these areas of high water speed, what they're gonna do is that eddy current here is gonna pop them up and over there. So you're looking for the still water effect that you have. Um, that's a good sign. Another good sign of rocks like this, again, this is an eddy current. So the water hits the top end of the rock, it splits out, it splits the momentum. Momentum travels around, but now you'll notice we have that dead space again. But we have also a lot of material down in here. So again, this is where our heavies come. They get, they come up down here, they pop either side. As they come around, they're wanting to fall out. Remember, gold's lazy. Gold's not trying to do any work. Gold's like, you know what? Um, 
I'm really mad at you for making me move. So now I'm going to go sit down. And that's it. That's where it sits. It's going to sit in an area like this. Now, as you can see, it kind of extends out a little bit. So when you test this, you want to test from here straight up. They'll also tell you to test the point up here. But you're going to have to dig kind of down. And depending upon the size of the rock, you might want to move the rock because I get the, the line of thought is there's a really good gold underneath that rock too. So just food for thought, especially when you're dealing with floodwaters like we are. All right, we'll look at some gold later. Bye. <laughs> Matt's like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, hold on. Who's this dude? Prospector Matt and I are out here. Prospector Matt. We are finishing up for the day. Uh, Prospector Matt went up here a little bit to the corner. He hit that area like we asked him to to do before, and that's awesome. I dug this hole, he dug a couple of these over here. Um, and don't worry, we're gonna look for some gold. What? The owl's coming back up. The owl's coming back up? Yeah. Fantastic, where? So the owl will come back, that we saw earlier, which is awesome. Oh, there he is. So let me see, see if you can see him. He's right there in the tree. He's been hanging out with us all day. So if you can see, he's right there. We love Mr. Owl. Anyway, back to it. Uh, I dug this really big ass hole that I keep tripping in like 20 times. And I dug this hole right in here. And I hit this hole right up in here. And I also hit this area. See, look at him, he's checking me out. He's like, what are you doing over there? Why are you over here screwing with my food sources? See him? He's looking right at me. <laughs> What's up, big boy? What's she doing? All right, so anyway, back to it. So dug this hole out, which was nice. As you can see, the water has dropped dramatically uh, since we got here. So anywho, we'll get some gold. 
and then I think we're gonna head out and go look at my new house if I can convince Matt into taking the drive but uh yeah see uh we got some gold today not bad it's definitely not our other weekends but you know who cares bitches we're out here with Mr. Al and us so yeah all right well till next time Go ahead. Nice. You charge it? Okay. No, I'm trying to figure out. Do you see the reticle? Huh? You see the reticle? Oh, there it is. There you go. Gotcha. So the top of the point. The top of the point? Yep. Take care, If this hurts me in the face, I'm going to see you. You'll be right. Yeah, bolts back. Huh? You hit here, right? Yep. Yeah. 